91% of women say they're unhappy with their bodies. In this series of shorts, I'm hoping to find out why, what is fueling the space of self-loathing, and if there's anything we can do to help prevent it. In this episode, I'll be looking at how our shopping experience is affecting our body image and dramatically impacting on our self-confidence. Where do you buy most of your clothes from? Um, majority of my clothes I buy online because it's easier than going around shop. It's like H&M Topshop. Yeah. Probably British Home Stores or Sainsbury's. Do you think the sizing is consistent across the shop? No. Do you think the sizing is consistent across the shop? No. No, absolutely not. No. They have, that's why I go to those particular stores and I find that a lot of the stores are made for uh, slimmer women. The average size in women for the UK is a size 16, but do our shops reflect this? I don't really shop in Topshop because I can't fit in anything. Can't shop in H&M, can't fit in anything. Sizes varies, but they do have really nice styles that just need to have more other sizes. Yeah, would you say that like the sizing in the shops affects the like way you view your body image? Yeah, because I just obviously feel like a fat cow. <laughs> it does make me feel fat, yeah. I'm off to meet Maya. She's a young student living in Brighton and a complete health junkie. She has what would seem to many as a highly controversial opinion as to who should be held accountable. I like to look after myself. I really take pride in my appearance. I have to work out at least once a day and I eat really healthy. What do you enjoy about shopping? It makes me feel really good about myself and how I look because everything just fits me. It's so easy. Well, it's quite unusual because a lot of women find that going shopping really affects how they feel about their body. Well, I mean, it's probably just because they're fat. The average size in the UK for women is a 16. That's disgusting. I don't know anyone that big. It can't be healthy. I'm so shocked at Maya's view on this. She's so young yet has such a harsh opinion. Not everyone's weight is down to overindulging. For some, it's a genetic trait. This topic has become of great interest to third wave feminists and is striking up heated discussions in both person and online. I'm heading to Basilic Sixth from College where they hold a feminist society to see how 21st century feminists view this issue. Um, and the other like as a trans woman, I, like I, I wear men's clothes, but um, they're not necessarily made to fit me. It's definitely a different street store. So it makes it really hard to find a judgement of how they feel comfortable because they're being told that they fit a certain um, ideal and then suddenly they don't fit the ideal. Everyone always blames famous people and that they're not giving the right um, advice or setting the right example, but actually it's not them that's printing it and then that's publicising it. It's it is the media. The main thing I found really interesting about this is that this isn't just an issue for just a couple of women. This is this is huge. There are so many people affected by this and shops need to start facilitating sizing and clothing that actually suits and, and works for all of the different body types that they actually have out there. Not everybody is the same size and or, or shape and things need to be there for them to, to wear and use and Right now there just isn't something for everyone.